I'm sitting on my baby bumblebee. Oh, my mommy be so proud of me. I'm sitting on my baby bumblebee. Do you remember that tune? Maybe that's dating me or something. But I used to sing that when I was um, a little kid in the playground. Um, well, that's based on a fiddle tune called Arkansas Traveler that I'm going to show to you right now. Um, I'm going to show you a very basic version because I'm going to do later videos, follow-up videos, which show you cool things you can add to it. So for now, I'm going to more quickly kind of play a basic version and then we'll learn it step by step, note by note, phrase by phrase, and put it all together at the after this. Okay, so here's the, here we go. Arkansas Traveler. Do that. Let's do it. You're going to need to know the D major scale. You can practice that with all the rhythms you know, hoedown, slur patterns, and so on. And you need to know um, low second finger on the E string. So open on the E, open one, low two, and three. If you're feel pretty proficient with all that stuff, you can go ahead and do this video. If not, you may need to do something simpler first. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start with open D to second on D. I'm going to go here's that again. So these are the first few notes, they're important, they'll help you remember it, so we should kind of get them down. Let's cycle it in a loop right now. Good, that's followed by a second on the G to first on the G. first quarter of Arkansas Traveler. Okay, moving on to the second quarter. Starts first finger on D, going to second finger on D. Okay, here's that again. And that's followed by this, the beginning of the tune. So we have. the second quarter with 2-1 on G. So listen to the whole second quarter. Okay, now I'm going to play this 
twice in a row so you can play along and practice. Good. Third quarter, same as first. We'll go over it, but you should already know it. Fourth quarter, totally different than everything else that's already happened. So this is going to start third finger on A with 3-2-3. Three, three. And now add open A. If you're a beginner, I think this is kind of hard, so you could cycle this a little bit. Good. The next little bit of the fourth quarter is also hard. It starts one, three, third on D now. Alright, so now I'm going to put together what we have so far on the fourth quarter. that again. I think this is hard. Really worth spending a little extra time on. And then ending with on D string. By the way, all left hand fingerings are in the comment field below written out for you. So here's the, the end. So the whole fourth quarter I'm going to play for you now, put it together. If you're unsure of any part of that, just rewind. I'm now going to play that fourth quarter twice in a row for you. Okay, good. I'm now going to play the entire A part slowly for you. Here it goes. So, if you haven't yet done low second finger, this might be a good point to stop now because we're going to do the B part and you need to be pretty good at it already. Um, so, but if you are familiar with low second finger, let's go ahead and start the B part. So, first find your notes on the E string. Open, one, low two, three. We got those and they're in tune. Then we're going to start with this. That's three, low two, one, three. 
Okay, now we're going to do a similar pattern, with the same pattern basically, but starting it on low 2 going down. Here's that again. And now we're going to do the same pattern again, but starting on 1 going down. Can you hear the similarities between the each repetition? Just one pattern moving down the scale. So I'm now going to slowly put together those three repetitions of the pattern. This is from Arkansas Traveler B part. Here it is one more time. simply add a long E, long A after that. Here's the whole first quarter of the B part. Okay, I'm now going to play it twice in a row. Try to play along if you can. Good. All right. Good news is the first chord is also the third chord, so you already know half the B part. Um, so, second chord is also kind of tricky, but involves a similar pattern moving around. So we're going to start on the A string, three, two, three. But we're going to then go to first on E. Here's that again. I think that's very difficult if you're a beginner, so cycle on it until it sounds good. Good. Let's move on. The next four notes, open E to third on A, back to open E to low two on E. Very tricky as well. Let's cycle that. Good. All right, let's put together what we have. Once more. And then to end this, the second quarter, we end it the same way we end the first quarter, with this. Here's that again. Here is the whole second quarter of the B part. Very tricky, worth spending a lot of time on. Um, I will now do it twice in a row for you, try to play along. I think this is such a good
practice um, phrase that I recommend if you have the patience now playing it starting on the D string. And getting good at doing it there. And then guess what? Starting it on the G string as well. Alright, just a suggestion. Don't want to throw you off course too much, but it, it would be great. It would really help you get better at fiddling if you did that. And then did that with anything you're learning. Just transpose it. Put it on a different string. Alright, so guess what? You now know the entire B part. Even though I've showed you the first quarter, which was, remember, and the second quarter. The third quarter is the same as the first. Remember I said that earlier? And you know that, but I'll do it slower once. Well, sorry, if you don't know it, then just go over it. And then the fourth quarter is the same exact fourth quarter that you learned in the A part, which is this. All right, so you now have, if we put all the pieces together, you have the B part. All right, let's do it right now. I'll play it slowly. It, make sure you got all the parts before we get into it. Here we go. B part. Well, thanks for watching, for playing along, and I hope you had as good of a time as I did, because I did, believe it or not. And um, that's it, Arkansas Traveler, classic American tune that you can now play. So let me know if it was helpful, useful, and uh, stay in touch, and please subscribe, and have a swell day. So long. Excellent!